Hello and welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Have you ever looked at a slab and wondered, is it one-way slab or two-way slab? Today I'll show you the simplest way to understand the difference between one-way slab and two-way slab. I will explain this using simple graphic illustrations and examples. The first question that comes up is, what exactly is a slab? A slab is a flat plate that transfers loads to beams or columns. But how the slab carries this load depends on its support conditions, and that changes everything. When a load is applied to a slab, it is generally transferred to the beams, and from there, it moves down to the columns. This is the general load transfer mechanism of the slab. Now the main difference between one-way slab and two-way slab is their dimension ratio. When the ratio of the length of the slab to the width of the slab is greater than or equal to 2, it is known as one-way slab. Now on the other hand, when the ratio of the length of the slab to the width of the slab is less than 2, it is known as two-way slab. Now let us take an example of a slab with length of 6 meter and width of 2 meter. So when we divide 6 meter by 2 meter, we get ratio of 3, which is greater than 2, so the slab will be one-way slab. Now let's consider another slab of length 6 meter and width of 4 meter. So when we divide the length by width, we get here ratio of 1.5, which is less than 2. So this slab will be known as two-way slab. Here we are going to discuss the load transfer and bending shape in one-way slab and two-way slab. In a one-way slab, the loads are carried in only one direction, that is in shorter direction. But in a two-way slab, the load are carried in both directions, meaning it is carried by all four support. This difference in load flow is what changes how each slab behaves and how it needs to be reinforced. If we consider the longer and shorter span of one-way slab, it bends only in shorter direction. Whereas in two-way slab the slab bends in both direction. This what makes the difference between the one-way slab and two-way slab. Here comes now the reinforcement distribution in one-way slab and two-way slab. The main reinforcement is provided only in the direction of bending that is the shorter span, whereas in two-way slab the main reinforcement is provided in both the direction. If we look into the shorter and longer span of the slab, the main reinforcement is provided in shorter direction, whereas the distributed or temperature reinforcement is provided in the longer direction. In case of two-way slab, the main reinforcement is provided in both the direction. Another key difference is the support conditions in one-way slab and two-way slab. A one-way slab is supported on just two opposite sides, so the load flows only between those two supports. In contrast, a two-way slab is supported on all four sides, allowing the load to distribute in both directions. In the one-way slab example shown, the slab rests on support 1 and support 2, which are two opposite supports. In the example of two-way slab, the slab has four supporting edges, which is why it behaves as a two-way slab. So I hope you guys understand the main differences between one-way slab and two-way slab. Thank you for watching our video, like and comment if you enjoyed the content.